Hi, this is Kelly for Texas Pediatric Dentistry, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about dental x-rays for children. Uh, here at Texas Pediatric Dentistry, we use a digital dental x-ray system with child size equipment, and this system has a lot of advantages over traditional x-rays. Uh, first and foremost, it's a lot safer for our patients, which is very important to us, and we know it's very important to you as well. Um, I know sometimes x-rays can be a touchy subject with parents and that sometimes people are confused about the difference between something like a digital dental x-ray and then a medical x-ray such as like a chest x-ray to look for pneumonia. Um, the big difference is that a dental x-ray is a small condensed dose of radiation. Um, as a point of reference, our largest x-ray, which is the Pano, it shows all of the teeth and both jaws. Um, that's still less radiation than your child would receive if they just spent a day outdoors in the sun. Um, and now in comparison, a something like a chest x-ray that you would get at the doctor is the equivalent of your child spending about 10 days in the sun. So you can see it gives off a lot less radiation. So that makes it safer for our patients and our staff. Um, and then beyond that, we also do take every other safety precaution, including making sure that our patients are always wearing a lead apron with a thoracic collar whenever they get uh, dental x-rays. Um, another big advantage over a digital x-ray system um, is that it, the image quality is a lot better than you get with traditional x-rays. So that means that the dentist can see um, you know, everything in greater detail and they can find little things a lot faster than, um, than they would be able to with traditional x-rays. So we might be able to catch cavities earlier on uh, when they're just pre-cavities or very tiny cavities and we're able to treat those a lot less aggressively than we would have to um, if the decay was allowed to get bigger. So that's a great thing. Um, we see, uh, sometimes we see pre-cavities in between your child's uh, teeth and what we're able to do is kind of advise you as the parent and advise your child as the patient um, what those areas are, uh, explain, you know, kind of what is starting to happen and then you can, um, you know, do certain things at home like additional flossing or more brushing time to try to help prevent that from becoming a cavity. So that really helps us do a better job at, at making sure that treatment is kept to a minimum for your child. Um, the next advantage is that um, digital x-rays are a lot faster as far as the processing time. So that means less waiting time in the office for you and your child, which is always a great thing. Um, so those are the advantages of our digital x-ray system here at Texas Pediatric Dentistry. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about the different types of x-rays uh, that your child receives at the dentist. Um, there are four main types, and the first one is called occlusal x-rays. Now, occlusal x-rays are usually started around the age of three, and they're basically uh, just taken of the front, your child's front teeth on the top and the bottom. Uh, and they let us see things like uh, if there's extra teeth or missing teeth or a cyst or something like that. Um, so it's a great starter x-ray for your child and it also helps us make sure that everything looks normal. Um, and if it doesn't look normal, then we know what steps to take early on. Um, so those are occlusal x-rays and like I said, those begin around the age of three. Uh, the next type of x-ray begins around the age of four, and this is probably what you think of when you think of dental x-rays. They're called bite wings, and they are taken of um, your child's top and bottom teeth in the back. Um, bite wings are very important because uh, in between your teeth, when you get a cavity in between your teeth, the dentist can't see that with the naked eye. We have to have an x-ray to be able to see that, and these are sometimes called flossing cavities. They're very, very common with kids, and if we can, uh, you know, we get images, x-ray images of them, we can catch them earlier um, and, and be able to treat those cavities before they become a real problem. So um, bite wings are great. Um, most kiddos starting around age four do fantastic with them. Um, the third type of x-ray also begins around age four, and it's called a panoramic x-ray, or a pano for short. Um, basically with a pano, your child will stand still for about a minute, and uh, the x-ray will spin around their head, and it takes a fantastic image of all of the teeth in their mouth, all of the baby teeth that are present, as well as the adult teeth that are, uh, that are coming in behind the baby teeth, and it also helps us see um, their jaw and any problems that they're having um, there. I mean, it, it, we're able to see things like missing teeth, extra teeth, impacted teeth, and then as they get older, we're also able to monitor the eruption of their wisdom teeth so that we can let you know if and when there's a need uh, for your child to have their wisdom teeth removed. Um, so it's a, a great x-ray. 
And the last one is called a periapical x-ray. Um, and these are most commonly um, used when a child either injures a tooth or is in some sort of pain. Uh, a periapical x-ray allows us to see everything from uh, the crown of the tooth all the way through the root and it helps us diagnose things like fractures um, and infections and things like that. So it's a very useful x-ray. Um, so those are the four types of dental x-rays that children receive. If you have other questions about digital dental x-rays or uh, want to find out more about our office, we would love for you to visit our website at texaspediatricdentistry.com. Thank you.